today is the first day back getting things sorted. Today it's greenhouse day. Before I can do anything, oh God, I've got a lot of organising to do. I basically I need to get all this crap out of here get it all sorted, get the greenhouse clean because I haven't cleaned it yet so it's going to be a whole soapy water thing going on today then get all this lot back in but in a more organised way and get set up for spring basically <sighs> yeah, Christmas presents not even opened yet new propagators and a new thing for spring that I'm not telling you about yet so you'll have to come back okay, time to get the marigolds on and go down, brushed, floors been cleared, brushed, because you want to get all the dead leaves and bits and bobs and potential pests and things, you want them out of here. All the inside again has had a good brush and a dust and all that kind of stuff. Uh, next job is why I'm, I'm stopping for a cup of hot Earl Grey. You watched Picard last night, yeah, Earl Grey, hot. Um, yeah, because I'm about to get a big bucket of soapy water and give it all a good wash. Um, which means I'll be freezing in about 10 minutes. So, tea break, and then on to that one. Garden's a disaster, look. It's just stuff everywhere. staging. This just makes life so much easier. Here we are, we're all done then. Um, and it's just in time because it's started to rain so I can get back indoors. Um, I have to say, um, first year with a glass greenhouse um, and what a difference. Oh my god, I will never go back to polycarbonate. Oh man, the old polycarbonate greenhouse used to be just so disgusting. And the sides were this really thin polycarbonate flimsy stuff. So you'd be trying to wipe them with a the sponge and they'd like cave in and come out. And the tile things on the, the ceiling, the, the polycarbonate panels in the ceiling, were this kind of corrugated cardboard style type stuff. Obviously polycarbonate, but you know what I mean, corrugated. So I had these air paths, these air channels all the way through. And of course, they used to just fill up with mould and algae and green gunk. It was disgusting. So cleaning that was a nightmare. It used to take all day. And you were out in the cold and it was wet and you ended up filthy. It was disgusting. This was almost a pleasure. I think in total, I think I was about four hours in total, including I stopped for an hour for lunch and watched something on telly that I can't even remember now um, but yeah so this was absolutely a breeze it was a case of getting it all emptied getting it swept and dusted and wiped down and then a big bucket of soapy water inside and out and then getting it all rinsed off and stuff at less than four hours awesome so yeah wouldn't say enjoyed it but definitely way better than polycarbonate much easier to keep clean 
So as you can see, it's back to being set up the way it was when I first introduced you guys to this greenhouse. So this is how it'll be for spring, with all my space for all my propagators and stuff to get all the seedlings going and things. Um, got all my spare seed trees and bits and bobs and pots. Because basically anything, if I buy anything um, in like a garden centre or whatever now, I'm keeping any plastic it comes with and just reusing it until it's just unusable. Um, to try and just reduce the amount of plastic I'm buying. So everything's either really, really heavy duty, deliberately bought to last, or if it's this flimsy stuff, then I'm doing my best to keep it good and keep it going as long as possible. But yeah, so... I won't be planting anything for a while um, because Scotland sucks. Um, but when I do plant, it's probably going to be mid-February, end of February, the earliest. Um, but when I do get planting going, um, I will be doing another video because I want to take you guys through how you cope in this kind of climate. In Scotland, spring is really cold and wet here and it's still a bit dark and dismal. So we don't do as well as even down south. You'll see just now a lot of the gardeners down south in England have already got seedlings going. And we can't even think of that here. But having an unheated greenhouse with no power, so I can't have heated propagators and lights and things in here. So I'm going to show you my tricks to overcome all this stuff. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Um, and also, you guys maybe don't realise, um, if you subscribe... YouTube will alert you when I do videos, but it doesn't alert you to every video. If you want to know when I do every video, you need to hit the little bell button as well when you subscribe, just to warn you. Okay, but there'll be more videos coming out, and that's one that I've got planned. I've also got one planned to show you some tricks for when I'm getting seedlings going and stuff, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. But yeah, oh, so that is it for today. I'm going to head back indoors and get a cuppa, because I think I've earned it. But those of you who've followed me over the years and followed the blog you know there is one last job that gets done every time the greenhouse gets a clean the last thing that happens is this sign goes back up important sign this because it says everything that is right in the world because all you need is love tea and gardening so true so guys see you next time